Alright, folks. Jesus is on the iron now. You know, it never ceases to amaze me how religious zealots continue to find apparitions of the Virgin Mary and Jesus on items. You understand what I'm saying? I mean, now he's on the iron. Before, the Virgin Mary was actually on a grilled cheese sandwich. And I think Golden Palace uh, bought that for about 25 Gs. Then we had Jesus on a pancake. And then that was um, found to be fraudulent because more people thought that that looked like Ron Jeremy, the porn star, <laughs> than it did Jesus, the hippie on a stick. Then we had Virgin Mary uh, on a Pop-Tart. Then we had another Jesus on a pancake, which kind of looks like uh, an Arab, you know, uh, with the beard. But the most famous of all I remember, because I actually went here and I saw this, it was real crazy, was the apparition of Virgin Mary uh, that was on the side of a bank. And shortly thereafter, the bank wound up closing down. So, you know, you know, you know, thank God, huh? You know, put people out of work. They wound up closing down because too many people started pulling up in the parking lots. And you see right here, there wasn't much when it first started. It just had some candles and, you, you know, people started bringing flowers and all kinds of craziness, you know? And then, all of a sudden, it became a serious spectacle. Um, Jesus was um, on the cross, you know, the hippie on a stick. He was right there in the middle of everything. And they wound up setting up a lockbox, of course, to set up um, the, um, the ability for people to donate money. Wow, how convenient. And it's crazy because the money that it costed um, Pinellas County for this, was ridiculous because they had to have around the clock security. They had to put up another an additional stoplight. They had to um, maintain. I believe it was up to like ten portalettes out there. I mean, it was a big extravaganza, and it was so crazy that I remember one of the police officers wound up getting burnt by one of the candles, and it was twisted into oh he must have not been holy enough to be on the side, and I mean just crazy stuff. And people came from all over the world to look at this. I mean, it was it was just a big spectacle, you know. I mean, it it, it was just it was just crazy. And then all of a sudden, uh, a couple years later, bam! <laughs> they go on to test out his arm to see if he uh, deserved to be in the big leagues. Okay, knocked out three panels. But this brings me back down to this: Jesus on the iron. Why? If God wants to make people believe in him or his son, the hippie on the stick, why wouldn't he just decide to, instead of having apparitions of these people on images, or on items, why not just have them appear? I mean, like, why does he have to be so secretive? You know, it kind of, it's kind of like the people that, you know, like the Sylvia Browns and the John Edwards or the John Stewarts, who are those guys, whatever their names are. But when they're like, yeah, I hear your, your dead mother talking to me, you know, her first letter is A, her last letter and her last name is D, does that sound, you know, and all this stuff, like playing fucking charades, you know? It's like, if it's real, just appear, just, and, and that will make more people to gravitate to possibly believing in you, rather than these trivial things. And I know you religious zealous out there are going to be like, yeah, well, this isn't of God, it's of the devil, and, and again... It's a, it's a revolving door. You know, it's like, you know, what if you don't believe in the devil either? You know, it, it's just crazy. It, it all it all comes from the same thing. It's all myths and legends. So, this is just crazy. When does it stop? When does it stop, people? And with that, I'm out. Peace. Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? Is this not why you are here?